Hey there folks, Caleb Downing, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Redwin Cobra TRA on a variety of hosts. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to go over some compatibility real quick with the different mounts offered by Redwin for the Cobra. We have four different ones here today. We have the RMSC mount, the smaller footprint, um, common on a lot of carry guns that we have out there. Um, this is a Glock 19 slide. This uses the RMR footprint, the very standard pistol red dot footprint. We also have the Doctor or Venom mount that's compatible with, again, a lot of other uh, firearms that are out there. And another very common mount, a 1913 mount. This is used on a lot of risers, as you see here on this little PCC, or directly mounted to 1913 rails. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into looking at how to install these things. It's really pretty simple, and I'm just going to hit it real quick, and let's get it. Starting off with the Glock 19 slide, this uses the very com common RMR footprint. You need to make sure that you use the proper length screws as well as the proper thread pitch screws. This is going to be different depending on the different manufacturers of the slides as well as the optics themselves sometimes, but specifically the slides. You're going to need to make sure that you use the proper screws. Make sure they're tightened down to whichever manufacturer specifications they have out there and use Loctite if you're leaving this on the firearm for a prolonged period of time. You're going to want to make sure that when you mount the optic, you press forward on the optic. That way, under recoil, the optic does not come loose and lose zero while you're firing the firearm. Next up is the RMSC. This is the smaller version of the RMR footprint. It's a little bit different, but same thing goes across the board as far as using the proper length screws and the proper thread pitch and diameter of screws. Make sure you use the right ones. Don't strip anything out. Again, make sure you use Loctite where applicable and tighten to manufacturer specifications. Once the optic is ready to be mounted, make sure you press forward on the mount whenever you're tightening it. Again, this will assure that under recoil, the optic stays in zero. One thing to note when mounting optics to your pistols or whichever mount you might put it on, whether it be a pistol or a rifle, are some mounts will have recoil posts. Like this particular firearm here is provided with different recoil posts. It actually has four recoil posts, which is very handy. And thankfully, the Red Wind mounting plates accept those recoil posts. These posts really, really do help maintain zero when the firearm is being fired. So again, make sure you use proper length and thread pitch and diameter screws, tighten the proper specifications, and press forward on your mounts whenever you are mounting. But not least, we have our 1913 mount or Picatinny mount. This is usually used with a riser most of the time. However, you can mount it directly to your rail or specifically your receiver if you so wish. Again, press forward on the optic whenever you're mounting it to ensure you maintain zero while you are firing. All right, guys, so once again, that is the Cobra TRA by Redwin. Variety of different mounts that are available to you. Uh, you just need to make sure you use the proper screws, tighten everything properly, and you should be good to go.